Hey yo, what is up guys, Zanecraft here, and man, it's been a while since I've said that, and <laughs> yeah, um, so this is my year review video, and um, you know, I've, I've always done these, and they've always fluctuated, at least the, this couple years, like, 2020 was kind of a hopeful little piece with a mix of angst. 2021 was talking about all my issues. 2022 was talking about how boring it was. And now here, I don't really know what to say in full. Like, like it wasn't bad. It wasn't good. But it wasn't mid. That's the thing. It was exciting. It had a lot of good moments. It had a lot of interesting big stuff. But, like, it wasn't anything, like, really special. And this last part of the year kind of built that up a lot. And that's why, you know, I started off like, hey, I haven't talked in a while. Because I haven't. I've been dead for a month. the fuck is going on outside on New Year's Eve? That's... That. <laughs> okay, um... So I haven't said anything in a month. At least in video form. I did a live stream the... Like... Middle of December, I think. Uh, watching Scott Pilgrim. And that was to build up for my Jake Paul video. Which I will still release. But I just kind of died. And... Why is that? I don't know. December's just like one of those months where like you don't like anything. Shit just goes sideways and it's just kind of like fucking annoying and boring and stupid. So I didn't do anything in December or like November either because, you know, my last video was the Attack on Titan video. That was November 5th. Over 50 days, which is... Oh... Oh, that, sh that shit's crazy. That, that shit's wrong for me. I'll just say that. So over 50 days, I haven't posted one video. And I haven't even recorded any videos. And that's because, you know, this year just kind of broke down at the end. But I'm not here to whine and complain about the last portion of the year. I'm just putting it down as, like, a base to, like, what kind of, like, fucked me over. So... Anyway, I want to talk about the whole year, so let's let's start off with the beginning in January, um, with, you know, the biggest thing for me of the year, or one of the biggest things, is the fact of my first ever theater performance, my first ever show, uh, doing Grimsby in The Little Mermaid. I really enjoyed this process, I really had a lot of fun, and it's, um, one of the best experiences I've ever done. And it's just, like, really, really fun and enjoyable. And um, it really changes your perspective on a lot of things and my whole ideas and processes. And, like, doing acting for real for the first time on stage was a really amazing experience. And I can't wait to do it again. I haven't been able to. But um, in January, I'm actually doing stage management for this upcoming show, and it should be a lot of fun, um, I'm not gonna spoil what the show is, and I'm probably still gonna make a video like I did, uh, you know, spending 100, what was it, 136 days or whatever, uh, you know, becoming a cartoon character, I still love that title, I love that thumbnail, that was a great video, and I had a lot of fun making that. But, uh, yeah, getting into acting in full in January, um, really changed me and, you know, just, like, really built me up and made me feel, like, so much more engrossed in a lot of things and, you know, with that, um, I really built up a lot of, uh, steam this year. Like, as you guys know, we hit 300, we went even higher. A lot of you guys are new because of the whole YouTube boxing thing. And that, I, of course, have to mention for um, February and March, um, um, April, you know, 
the full rest of the year. I uh, got fully engrossed in YouTube boxing um, on this channel. Like, I've always been into it, but I got fully deep into it on this channel and talking about it and, like, doing other stuff like my own boxing, which I'm still have to get to and work on and, you know, um, build up. Hopefully I'll find a gym soon. I'm still working on a job and all that, but anyway, I got fully engrossed in it and I made a lot of videos on the boxing itself and like the stuff surrounding it, the events and like talking about them before, after talking about the controversies like Misfits and KSI and Kingpin and Creator Clash. You know, all that stuff, all that jazz I um, talked about. And, you know, it, it built us up a lot and it also landed me a job. I don't talk about, like, it because I kind of want to make it its own video, like, when it was, like, official, official. But, you know, like, uh, I've been working for YT Box Trek for the past couple of months and it has been a really fun job and something that I have seriously enjoyed doing and um yeah I, I just have to give a big thanks to Sammy and the team you know for giving me a chance and you know it's it's done very well and I've had a lot of fun with it and um doing that doing all this stuff this year for influencer boxing it has been a lot of fun you know it's building me up and Hopefully soon, you know, I can, you know, dive deeper into those portions of content, but also kind of like, um, you know, put myself out there and stuff like that. Anyway, like as much as I can go on and on and on about YouTube boxing, I do want to go on and on about myself as well. Like, like, um, I had a lot of good moments this year with, you know, family, with, with um, my friends and stuff like that. And I built a lot of relationships I've really, I really am proud of and ideas I'm really proud of too. Um, I, I kind of want to talk about a couple. Um, I kind of laid out the foundations uh, throughout my channel, throughout my uh, Instagram. Go follow that, by the way, if you want any like details and stuff. And please, for the love of God, go join my Discord. It is so dead. So dead. I need people in my Discord, please. Anyway, Instagram, community posts on here. I've been um, kind of dumping about my ideas and videos and stuff like that. Like um, a video that I was really proud of making before, you know, I kind of stopped production because of all this other stuff um, on Riverdale. And I'm still going to make that video and I'm still going to pop it out, um, in s sometime in like the next month or so, um, where I consecutively watched every single season of Riverdale and ranked it. I ranked it. I even have my notepad here on, on the ranks and stuff like that. Like... Like, I actually, like, have everything here on the ranks and, like, why it's good, why it's bad. It's, it was, like, a crazy process. Three pages of just talking about this stupid fucking show. Anyway, so I'm gonna release that soon, and hopefully that goes over well. It was a good idea. And I still think it is a good idea that hasn't been executed. Uh, don't steal my idea without credit. I'm sorry, but I'm I'm patenting it because <laughs> this series fucked me over. But it was a fun process because you know it it was a shocking result. It was a lot of fun doing, and just overall, it was fun in some sick, cynical way. But. Also, you know, you also have um, the skit ideas that still come and go. Um, music that fucking died. That's not something very I'm very proud of. You know, I, I don't really have any music ideas to really, like, execute. I was supposed to release my album this year, but that shit went sideways. So, yeah. Um, but... You know, it, it just comes and goes, and um, I think this year 
kind of has taught that, you know, all this stuff, all these things in your life, like, are good for you, and also, you know, like, kind of, like, something that you need to, um, have a base on before you really execute anything. Like, I have a base on all these video ideas that I'm still gonna make and still gonna do. I have a series coming out at the beginning of the year, probably as soon as Wednesday, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's something that you really have to, like, lay down a foundation before, before you, like, go straight in, and I think that's my issue, I think I say too many things, and then I just don't do it, and, like, don't really have enough, like, uh, for example, there was a Five Nights at Freddy's Not Scary video that I was supposed to release on Halloween, and I didn't, and eventually, you know, it, it, a lot of people made it, and not only that, but, like, you know, I kind of fell out of love with the series again. But at the same time, like, I just didn't really have a good foundation for that, and I just kind of, like, said too many things, like, oh, this is gonna come out here, this is gonna do that. So I think I'm gonna stop doing that. That might limit community posts, but I think saying stuff that I don't mean is just stupid and wrong and dumb and I should stop doing it so that's that's definitely something that I have to do in the new year but what what is the like main takeaway from this year and I know it's not like really like all together like oh you're supposed to describe all the good stuff this year and like I did I did describe most of the good stuff it was mostly just boxing acting family shit that's it like, nothing else really that big. I just want to get the main thing, though, out here. And the main takeaway from the year. So, I think that has to be probably, like, maybe um, try to find my balance again. I think every single year, like I said at the beginning, it was, like, fluctuating. Like, it's slowly going up, but slowly going down. Like, it started off hopeful, but I think it was some type of false hope. I think I was still stuck in that bad bubble. The second one was realizing my problems and fixing them and talking about how I fixed them, and it also had some hope. The third one was talking about how shit and stupid and mid the year was last year. And then the fourth one this year is talking about, you know, why I... Um, like, don't really feel much of anything. That's why the uh, color is purple. That is why I am, um, you know, doing the face in there. Uh, it's, it's like, it's not mid, it's not bad, it's not, like, super good. It's just kind of like a balance. And I think I just need to realize um, my pace needs to come back up and not really be so slow like a lot of big things happen a lot of fast things happen but it's not the pace that is needed so in the new year i'm not going to make any resolutions until tomorrow when i make my video and i obviously post it because i always do these things every year so i'm not going to make like any new year's resolutions yet for the, me or the channel but i'm just going to say this um Next year, I am going to have a much better pace. I should hopefully do a lot of things. End of the day, um, you know, you learn things every year. And, you know, I think this year was good. Um, I just wish I tried a little more. Like, I don't feel like all this stuff was on, like, anything other than myself. It was my pace that was the issue and i hope to improve that next year so yeah guys i will see you tomorrow in the new year um happy new year to anyone who you know crossed over already like the aussies or other people but yeah anyway guys i'll see you guys tomorrow peace out